strange apparitions and phantom travellers bring the spiral team to investigate a Surrey beauty spot. What does lurk within the woodland of Box Hill? An area of outstanding natural beauty in the popular region of the North Downs, Box Hill stands 172 metres above sea level and stands proudly over the towns of Tadworth and Dorking. Since 1914, the hill has been owned and managed by the National Trust. John Logie Baird, the inventor of the first working television system, lived at Swiss Cottage for a time and conducted some of his early experiments here. But does Box Hill hold any paranormal activity? Assorted apparitions have been seen in the area, including weary pilgrims stumbling over the stepping stones that cross the River Mole, and a phantom rider galloping across the landscape at night. But it's the many reports of a strangely dressed one-eyed man striding through the woods that brings the spiral team to the area. Is this the alleged spirit of former Dorking eccentric Major Peter Le Bellier? When he died in 1800, he was buried upside down on Box Hill, a place he loved so much. Although today, Alexis, Mark and Kathleen have trouble locating his gravestone. It's quite a way down. There's like a patch of grey that we've got walked past us, taking photos of the map so we don't get lost because there isn't one to take. Good thinking. Um, yeah, I think it's either... Yeah, it's got to be down there still. Using dowsing rods, Mark manages to find the grave. What feels weird? You know, if you look... Um, rub your hand against it, it feels really like... Is it mossy? Mm, yeah. It's probably slime, isn't it? He was a quite eccentric character who uh, lived in the Dorking area in the... Uh, 18th century. But he did like coming up to Box Hill quite a lot for lone walks and meditations. Uh, in one of his walks, uh, he tripped and fell on a spike, which unfortunately gouged his eye out. Uh, and we think from the result of that accident, he actually did die uh, and was buried here on the 11th of July 1800 and was buried in this spot here, upside down, according to tradition. Um, the reason for being buried upside down was that he thought that the world was topsy turvy. And when he came uh, back in the afterlife, the world will be the right way up. So what we're going to do tomorrow night is we're going to come here, uh, have a vigil around his gravestone, uh, which will be quite interesting, and see how we go and see if Major Peter would like to chat with us or we'll see what happens. We've got a really nice day today. The sun's shining and the conditions are absolutely lovely. It's pretty mild. There's no, it's not ex excessively hot or cold. Greystone's in nice condition, so we'll see what actually it brings to our night. I'm feeling a little bit, well, I'm feeling like I can't get really nervous when it gets dark. We're at Box Hill at the moment, and it's just before sunset, um, and we're preparing to go on a stroll, uh, and Mark's going to show us the site where we're doing the vigil tonight, so it's very exciting. As nightfall descends over the area, Alexis, Mark, Hannah, Lisa and Byron head towards the gravestone weather yesterday. Oh yeah. Weather today has been mostly rainy and now is quite dry except it's very muddy. Yeah it is a bit isn't it? Yes. So we've got the tombstone to be is still in a very very good condition. Yes. Well there's someone has written on it. I think, yes, a little bit that yesterday. I think so as well mm. actually. I think it's very disrespectful. So here we are on our first outside investigation. Mm. It'll be interesting to see how it's all going to pan out. We're going to be standing out here and if it's either dew or rain from earlier on, it's going to start dripping and we'll be like, oh, it's a light orb. Well, actually, it's not. It's just the camera reflecting the white. Mm. Mm -hmm. White? Water drops. <laughs> Although, if, so it, if we do get catch any light anomalies that are going upwards, then that might... Yeah. Like we did it but at, if these are Peter's theory is right, then water should go up because he's been buried downwards. So I like... maybe water will raise up around this tombstone. I like your reasoning. I like no. your reasoning. Who knows? But we are outside, so that means if... There's the whole dust thing. It's um, easily explained. Yeah. Like it could, also, it could with wind. It's the trajectory go up. Of, of any light anomaly. Because if it's quite blowy, it's going to go blow over the place. Yeah, and if it doesn't, true. then you think, aha. Uh -huh, yeah. What is that true. all about? There is going to be an array of noises, though. It's just going to be the trees and the wind cars. and people walking around cars. Yeah. So oh. We do have our mobile phones on today because obviously it's quite scary being in the woods dark at night and we mm. don't want to lose each other. So. Yeah. 
Hopefully we'll be taking some still shots as well on our phones mm -hmm. to try and get... No, you can't. Mm. National Trust will be a little bit peeved. Mm. Yeah, so we started yes. a bushfire. Yeah. <laughs> Me though. It was her idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sniffles over yeah. there. Sniffles. <laughs> Miss Medium didn't see it coming. <laughs> so, although we know the background area, as was stated yesterday in our preliminary, I can't say that word, findings, both Hannah and Lisa and Byron haven't got a clue other than what's written on the tombstone about Peter. So it'd be interesting to see what they come up with and what feelings mm -hmm. they have tonight. Okay. So the pressure's on, <laughs> the pressure's on you guys. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> How do you say and that? The pressure's word? on Peter. Preliminary. Yeah, yeah. And the pressure's on Peter to deliver. Preliminary findings. Preliminary. Peter. If there's any spirits here, can we ask them to come close? We don't mean them any harm. We just want them to share with us their thoughts and feelings. During the vigil, Alexis started to feel vulnerable about being in the middle of the woods in the dark, although this fear was nothing to do with the paranormal. I now don't feel so comfortable here. Why? I don't know. Spiders in your face. <laughs> no, I just really don't feel very comfortable here. It's so, alright, relax. Fine. No, not because of this. I feel like there's other people in the woods. Really? Yeah. Keep hearing bits of woods crack. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's the fire. wind. Or people banging. I know I'm being a pain in the ass, but it is getting dark and stuff like that. We're not spending too much time here. I really do feel I uncomfortable. Think, I really I don't like out? it. I think because of also the, just the safety element. Just no, I don't think things like the where the forty fifth away is right by yeah. the shops. So. Like any time you want to go is absolutely great for me. I really feel uncomfortable. Just relax. Just yeah, it's fine. Just relax. relax. Put yourself in your mind. Visualise that you're in a little bubble. Yeah, but I know we're not. No, we're in the middle of places where people have been murdered. I don't really feel comfortable being here. <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's go. It is absolutely nothing to do with Peter. I do not feel as if there's anything threatening that side of it. I don't feel safe here, as in people that are living, I don't feel safe here. In which case, I think the safety reasons we move on. With the circle closed, the team move on to the old fort. Come on then, let's go. <laughs> 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 Have your torches out as well, please. Oh, yeah. Get a picture of a little girl in the corner. Okay. And here? Oops. I think I'm just sitting in the corner. He said, actually, this was a. Um, the fault? It was a storeroom. Storeroom. For caretakers. Yeah, it's not even really quite. It's not actually that old. Like that. Yeah, it is. How old is it? 1899. 1899. So, so yeah. I just think there's lots of happy spirits up here because they've all had good times. It's good memories, isn't it? But you said you felt uneasy earlier. Did no, I didn't feel uneasy because of spirits. I felt scared up here because of horrible, foul people that are alive today, not because of those that have passed. How do you feel, Byron? It's only like, do you think there's any witches or anything that were? Oh, I'm sure there was one. Oh, yeah, pretty cold. Now. Yeah, not too bad. Witches yeah. Or, um... With nothing significant occurring on this investigation, the team called it a night. Catching anything paranormal is a patient process and not every location is going to deliver. <laughs>